bunch of idiot birds that just as soon peck you on the nose and say howdy. Scram, Pete! You're a born chicken dog. Chicken dog? Go! on Drover and make sure he's taking care of business. That's 
the spirit? Now I'm gonna make the rounds again. If you see anything suspicious, give a holler. Nothing will get past me, Hank. No, sir. Oh! The machine shed. Dang. I seen him. I seen him. He's terrible. Calm down and give me a description. I'm calm. I'm calm. He's big. And I mean big, huge, enormous. He's black and white and he has a gigantic tail that whistles through the air and horns going out of his head. And there's green slobber dripping from his jaws. It's a monster, Hank. A genuine monster. Think I can whip him? If anybody can, it's you. Okay, here's the plan. I'll make the first contact. We'll hold you in reserve. If I holler for help, you come running. Get in there with them teeth of yours and bite something. Got that? Uh, I got it. And, Drover, if I don't come back from this one, you'll have to go on alone. Take care of the ranch and be brave. Oh, Hank. <laughs> One of the 
first things a cow dog learns is that cow dogs and coyotes don't mix. Because cow dogs are devoted to protection of the home, livestock, and civilization. And coyotes are devoted to a lifestyle based on raiding, pillaging, and uncivilized forms of behavior. Ever in seek was telling me to walk away and leave this coyote gal to her feet. But I just couldn't do it. Pardon me, ma'am. Looks to me like you could use some help. <laughs> Don't be afraid, ma'am. I'm here to help you. Thanks for saving my life, handsome stranger. I'm Hank. Uh, Hank the cow dog, ma'am. Gosh, you're pretty. You can call me Missy. Hank. Wait! Uh, don't run away! <laughs> Come on, let's have some fun! You work for that chicken ranch in the valley, don't you? I've heard my brother talk about you. Well, I quit that job to follow the outlaw trail. It's hard living out in the wild. You know, if things were different between us, if we hadn't met the way we did... We'd be enemies. It might be safer if you went back to your ranch and forgot about the outlaw trail, Hank. Oh, I ain't scared, Missy. I'll be going now. Ah, one more step, and you lose enough hide to half soul an elephant, boy. Don't you dare hurt him, Daddy. He's nothing but a chicken dog. <gasps> it's wrong to get out of his way. Nobody calls me a chicken dog, Buster. Well, I'm calling you a chicken dog, chicken dog. What are you gonna do? on the wanted poster down at the stockyard. Hmm. Let me handle this my way, Missy. <laughs> We're gonna see one heck of a fight now. <laughs> Chicken dog. Wandering up here was the worst mistake you'll ever make. And it's gonna be your last mistake. I wouldn't count on it, Strunch. You see, you've walked right into my trap. What trap? The rest of the posse will be along any minute now. They're after the reward, you know. You're lying. Am I? Just ask yourself what a smart cow dog like me's doing up here. Think about it hard. It ain't over between us, chicken dog. Get out of here, Scrooge. Don't let the posse get you. Phew. You were bluffing. And I'm gonna be proud to have you for a son-in-law, too. Yeah. Son-in-law? Daddy, please! Oh. There's an old coyote tradition of adopting a brave dog and making him a brother. Just call me Old Gut, son, and welcome to the family. But... Well, you said you was gonna start a new life, Hank. Following the outlaw trail ain't as dangerous when you've got friends. Well, okay. I ain't never going back to the ranch, so I might as well stay here with you. All at once, I had no responsibilities, no cares, no worries. I could go to sleep and not have to wonder if my ranch would make it through another night. Or if I could yell at again for something I hadn't done. 
after just a couple of days, I knew I found my true place in life as an outlaw. Yep, goofing off beat the heck out of hard work. But I was glad my mama couldn't see me. Jackrabbits run too fast and we get tired of chasing them, don't we? <laughs> but chickens just sit on their nests. carried off half the chicken house just now. I know, I'm a failure. It hasn't been the same around here since you left. I wish you'd come back. You can forget it. I've hooked up with a band of coyotes. Real fine folks they are, too. Took me right in and made me one of them. No! I just come to give you a warning, Drover. A bunch of us are on a raid, and I don't want you to get hurt. Run for the machine shed and stay there. A few days ago, you were on the side of law and order, trying to catch a criminal. Now you are one. Oh, you should admire you so much. You are my hero. Knock it off. I don't want to hear that stuff. What was that? It starts to signal. Do what I told you. I'm not going to run, Hank. Somebody's got to protect the ranch. You think you can do it, you little coward? I may be a coward, but I'm not a traitor and a bum. Goodbye, Hank. Traitor? Bum? Why, you little sawed-off pipsqueak. Oh! <laughs> run for your life, Grover! I'm not gonna run.
It's just you and me, Scrunch.